Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, man. Good day, lads. Good day, lads. Good day, guys. This is a very um, new age. It's a very new age um, thing I'm, I'm, I'm doing right now. You know, this is um, um, a different kind of talk smack that I, that I wanted to really um, try and um, put out there. You know, because since Bay Formas is the um, is what pretty much started off this whole um thing called talk smack so that it was only right that you know um with that pile of rubbish that pile of crap coming out tomorrow that you know i do a little a mini retrospective you know and a little look back at the um crapness that it was that is bay um three films the trilogy how he managed to get to three films is way beyond me you know um it all started in, in 2007 when, you know, the excitement of the Transformers film, you know, Spielberg behind it, you know, Peter Collins being picked up Transformers Prime, blah, blah. And the film sucked. The, the, the film was, was, was a part of crap, you know. I still have not watched the, the film from beginning to end since, since that, that time that I watched it in the cinema, which was a harrowing experience, an absolutely harrowing experience. I do not uh, recommend it to anybody, you know, and any... See, I told you, and this is what I even said on, 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 on the Ray Radio show. There are some clowns out there. There are some clowns out there posing as Transformers fans. Same thing with all these loser fanboys posing as, oh, we're the real fans of, of the people. The same clowns that say, oh, let's give Greenland another go. Let's give Ron Reynolds another go. You're a clown. You're a fool. You, you are misrepresenting the proper, genuine fans of this material. Um... And yeah, clowns who say, oh no, the Transformers one was, was a great film and oh, if only they could capture the magic of Transformers 1. It's like, oh, this latest Transformers film um, is obviously better than, than Transformers 2. Well done, but it doesn't capture the magic or the whole excitement of the other. The first film sucked. There was, there, was no, there was no magic in the first film. The first film was a crap film, a bad film. One of the worst films I've ever seen in my life. Then came Revenge, Revenge of the Fallen. And with this third film coming out, you know, people presume... It's gonna be um Michael Bay, Michael Rubbish, you know, Michael Crap's last film. But the fact is that it won't if this movie makes cash, as I said on the radio show, if this movie makes more and it's financially successful, Bay is as fake as shallow to still keep his grubby hands on it to keep on making money. But what Bay does not realize is that you suck. And no and that's even what he was saying when people say, "Okay, how can you go against the critics?" And uh, you know, I mean, what will you do? Uh, what do I have to say about the about if the critics pan this whole thing and I like his critics? The guy and Bay said, "Oh, you know, um, how does a movie that makes seven hundred million, you know, still gets viewed as like um, a failure?" And that's because he doesn't understand that it doesn't matter how much money your film makes. Spider Man Three made eight hundred million, and that film is 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 a, is a, is a part of crap. You know, so. I really just don't. I really just don't get, you know, um, what this, what this, what the, what this, 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 this guy, this guy's on about. You know, I really don't get it. You know, but you know, like, again, I look at this trailer, and the guy, he knows how to look. He knows how to cut a trailer. Anybody who looks at that trailer, and says that, or whatever, no, it's a damn good trailer. And the problem is that Bay has always known how to do trailers because he's a commercial director. How a guy who is a commercial director is given the chance to make a film that is a hundred and fifty minutes. It's madness. This guy should not make a film longer than 85 minutes. How he's given thing. I mean, you really expect me to sit down and watch a Michael Bay movie that is 150 minutes long? It's like if he didn't learn from, from The Island or, or Revenge of the Fallen. I mean, it's madness. Like a guy who is a commercial director, like who he is, you don't make a film that long. Same, you know that that you just don't do it. You know, and but obviously, you know, I wanted to make this video because I want I wanted to just hope that any um, so-called transformers out there, these so-called goons that I've been fighting with, no, no, not all of you, but a lot of goons on cybertron.com, a lot of goons on the major, but especially cybertron, cybertron.com, because I mean. TFW has been sort of, you know, or but no, especially those goons on Cybertron.com, you sheep, you know, you guys who just accept anything that, that that's given to you. I mean, I, I wanted to say this, that like, 
you are partly responsible for Bay having three films. If he had stood up and said, you know what, that first film was a part of crap. ILM did a good job, but that film was crap. It was rubbish and we're against it. Bay would probably not have really come back. Probably not. You know, probably not, you know, but you accepted it. You said it was great. And you even had the cheek to say that this is nothing more than just metal, just metals and giant effing robots beating, you know, beating each other up. You didn't watch the cartoon. You didn't realize that this is a story about it doesn't matter how strong you are. As long as you work as a team, you can defeat your enemies who are stronger than you because they're disbanded and do not work as a team. You know, it, you, you just understand that's more the whole moral of doing, the whole moral of Optimus Prime, the, the leader, guys that they, 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 they look up to. The whole moral of being a family like the Autobots are. You know, the whole moral of like, you know, if you're, 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 you're disbanded, no matter how strong you are, if you're disbanded, you must pull in the same direction as the Decepticons are. You, you'll, you'll always fail, you know. The whole thing of like Star, star Scream. You know, Starscream is the reason why the Decepticons will always fail. You know, um, things like that. And the whole point of like, you no, know, it's about the, it's about the Autobots and the Decepticons. The U.S. Army are just there in 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 the midriff, but the U.S. Army can't fight the Decepticons. They can't. They are advanced robots. They are advanced military, expertly trained combat robots that are extremely huge. So therefore, the US Army, they can't fight them. Unless they nuke them, they can't fight them, they can't defeat them. The only things that can defeat them are the Autobots. You know? But because Michael Bay is such a stupid suck-up, you know, such a sick man, he needs to promote the US Army because US Army gives him the free stuff, like tanks and stuff like that he can, he can promote. So that's because he's a, he's a sick man. He's not a filmmaker, he's a sick businessman. A stupid, sick businessman. And... Also, the fact that doing a deal with GM, Bumblebee is a Mini Cooper. The whole point of Bumblebee being a Mini Cooper is it is part of his character. You know, a Ferrari has a character, a certain character. So like, oh, what's your favorite car that you like? I mean, that's why I like a Porsche because a Porsche has a certain characteristic that it matches my kind of characteristic. That's why I just like Porsches. You know, a Ferrari has its characteristic. You know, a Mini Cooper has its characteristic. Okay, a Camaro doesn't mean does not mean crap. It doesn't mean crap. It doesn't mean anything. The whole point of Bumblebee being a Mini Cooper is that that it has a certain characteristic, you know, a certain reserved babyish, you know, not too brash characteristic as opposed to like a Ferrari or a Lam 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 Lamborghini, you know. But he doesn't get that because he's an idiot. Really, I want a reboot. I want B to get the hell out of it. I'll keep attacking him. I want B to get the hell out of this franchise. Um, I'm not gonna say how I'm gonna, how I'm gonna view this. I'm not I'm not viewing this film in the cinema. That that's a fact. But I will find a way to view those raw robots somehow. You know, I mean, like you know, just see a clip in there. But look, man, I ain't watching that film in the cinema. It ain't happening. And to end this thing, basically, that's the people should watch this thing in 3D in IMAX. I tell Bay to go and get your head shaved. Smack him in the face because it is sickening to force people to pay ridiculous amounts. Cinema prices are still rising. I don't know how it is in America, but in the UK, cinema prices are staggeringly, insultingly high, especially in an age where 99% of films and comments are absolute garbage. It is an insult that cinema prices should still be rising. But that being said, you want people to want first of all, to pay for IMAX prices to sit down, pay a ridiculous amount for a ticket to watch a hundred and fifty minutes of your garbage, stupid excuse for a film. I say get lost and get the heck out of here. That's what I say. Bada bing, bada freaking boom, reboot James Cameron Spielberg to do a Transformers film that is actually about the Autobots and the Decepticons. Bada bing, bada boom.